Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to my kitchen and come on in. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple natural air freshener. So if you like this content, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. This is a very simple air freshener that you can make with sage and rosemary and canola oil or olive oil if you prefer. Just chop the herbs into fine pieces, add a little bit of oil, mix it up and it's good for a week. This is another way you can have a natural air freshener. Here we have rosemary, sage, oregano, and thyme. You want to take all the leaves off the stems and then you're going to chop them very finely. And it's important that you chop these leaves very finely because you want to release the aromatic oils that are inside the leaves. And you do that by chopping finely. When the herbs are chopped, put them in a bowl and they will be good for about two weeks. Put them in your room that you want to freshen. I like to have them in the bedroom. It just keeps the room relaxed for sleeping. Here we have another herb that is very relaxing, lavender. And I like to pay, take lavender. I chop it up once again very finely to release the oils. And I might put it into a room where I want to be very relaxed. Or I would put it into a sachet. And then I put it in my linen cupboard in between the pillowcases so that the scent of lavender is in the pillowcase. And that will help you sleep at night. I keep my lavender sachets in my linen cupboard for about eight months until I have new sachets uh, that I can make. Here I am cutting some cheesecloth to make a sachet. It's a very simple way to make a nice sachet. You just cut a square, you put the lavender or whatever herb it is you want to make your sachet with into the cheesecloth, bring it all together, and I just use a simple rubber band. But if I was going to make this for a friend, I would try to make it a little bit more elegant. There you have it, a sachet and a bowl of aromatic lavender. If you like this content, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Here I have the dried rosemary, thyme, and sage chopped up. When I breathe it in, it makes me feel so calm and cleansed clean. It just feels like it cleans my soul, cleans my energy. It's also relaxing. So I like to put these in the bedrooms. Here I also have the sage and rosemary that I put in the oil. The oil brings out a slightly different aroma because it interacts with the oils in the herbs and but it's still very cleansing, very healing. It's also good to put in any room where you just feel that you need to have some peace <clears throat> or some healing. The lavender, <clears throat> I have a big jar of lavender, so I just added that little bit of lavender on top. This sits in my office on my desk, this lavender and it fills the whole office with just a slight aroma of lavender, which is a good stress reliever. It helps you relax, helps you sleep at night, and it also helps keep the mice away. And since my office is in the basement, that's actually a good thing. My dog also helps keep the mice away. So this sits on my desk. And then with the lavender sachet, what I like to do is I put it in my linen cupboard among my pillowcases. And that way, when I take out a pillowcase, will have just a slight scent of lavender and it just helps you relax and sleep at night. So that's how I like to use my natural air fresheners. I hope you found this topic helpful and if you did, give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends and thank you so much. And you know the more we can get chemical air fresheners out of our lives, the more we reduce the toxic load in our bodies, in our homes, in the environment, and all that waste that goes to landfill with those products. And we don't use phthalates. So think about it. These are just a few natural air fresheners you can make. I'll have more for you in another video. In the meantime, stay well. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, everyone.
Here's another recipe that you can make using chives or check out my playlist for all my videos in the video description.